going to live like. Please don't let them sick. Wish me luck. Oh my god, this sucks. This is so sad. What the hell did I buy? I have to cancel my flight. I got a little bit lost. I get to find myself all over again. guys it's your girl Viv I just landed in New York City uh, I got a uber ride from Newark Airport um, to the Airbnb I'm staying at I am on the Upper East Side of Manhattan I'm super tired um, I just came from Lisbon and their local time I think it's like four in the morning now so like I'm still awake I'm just like really tired because I never sleep on airplanes so yeah this is the room this is the Airbnb it cost me $47 a night and it has Netflix, which is cool. So I'll be entertained tonight. Hey guys, it's your girl Viv. I have to go get a COVID rapid test for my dentist appointment tomorrow and my orthodontist appointment. I have a dentist appointment and an orthodontist appointment tomorrow. So I need to get a negative COVID test to be able to go to my appointment. Alrighty guys, I am so excited. I'm here um, at a little farmer's market or something and I found artichokes big artichokes that's like the main thing i missed from being in new york was the fact that there's like fresh vegetables and fruits of all varieties all year long and i also missed takis so i can't wait to eat those as well i'm so freaking excited to eat these Alrighty guys, I just did my ninth COVID-19 test and I hope it comes back negative. Alrighty guys, so I just walked around the city a little bit. Um, here in about 10-15 minutes, I'm gonna go ahead and go down to Soho where I used to work. I'm gonna have lunch with my ex coworker. She is so awesome and I'm really, really excited to hang out with her. I'll show you guys what I end up ordering. I think I'm gonna go to Buy Chloe, which is my favorite restaurant. You guys know that if you saw my last vlog um, of my week in New York City last time I came um, here for my other orthodontist appointment. So. Alrighty guys, I got some butternut squash soup with some croutons, a uh, guac burger, and then some ginger lemonade. I hope it tastes good. I don't really like ginger much, so I guess we'll see. And I'm here with Hannah. Can I show you? Hello! <laughs> specifically for an umbrella because it's going to be raining today and tomorrow and yeah it was right next to the umbrella same price as the umbrellas and then i get next to the door before coming outside and i open it i'm like what the hell did i buy and the workers were laughing they're like what did you buy <laughs> they thought it was an umbrella too and then they're like oh it's a poncho and they're all like helping me put it on how the hell like the main thing i like about new york is walking around in your nice outfit 
feeling good because like everyone looks like everyone looks and appreciates people's outfits like you can you know tell when someone likes your outfit and I, I love that feeling and now I just look like a yellow banana walking around oh all bananas are yellow oops mostly oh and I have talkies sticking out of my bag so today's just not my day yeah I come here by yourself Alrighty guys, today is my second day in New York. Um, I am on my way to the dentist right now. I have a dentist appointment at 10 a.m. And then I have an orthodontist appointment at 4. So I just got done with my dentist appointment. Everything's in check. We just did um, a cleaning. Thankfully, I don't have any cavities or anything like that. And yeah, it was kind of painful. Luckily, I asked him uh, for some numbing gel and um, it didn't hurt as bad, but it was still kind of bad. <laughs> So today is my third day in New York City. I left my Airbnb today. It was my last day. I left there at 11 and luckily my old roommate, she said that I could stay here with her and pay half of the price that I was paying at the Airbnb. Hey guys, so today is my fourth day in New York City. Um, all I did today was stay home and edit my YouTube video. And then I also went out with a friend to get coffee. Um, he's been holding all of my box in storage, which is like super cool in his garage. And I really appreciate him doing that for me. So we went out um, for coffee. I'm jittery right now because I drink coffee and I forgot to ask for decaf. I never drink caffeine and I'm like low key freaking out. Like I am shaking, I'm jittery. I'm having a little bit of an anxiety attack. So I think I'm gonna go for a walk because I'm like literally freaking out. Like I can't sit still. I feel like I can't catch a breath. I hate caffeine. Like, why did I forget to ask for decaf? Anyways, so yeah. Alright guys, so I came out for a walk because I was feeling super anxious just sitting down at home with all this caffeine in my body. So yeah, taking a walk, try not to have a panic attack. <laughs> just be like, sorry for the bad lighting. like clockwork I cried it out I'm about to get on the train so I can eat my emotions away I feel like a lot of people do that and I'm one of them um so yeah that's what I'm gonna do mm, looking crazy who fucking cares <sighs> Oh, 
Alrighty guys, so due to COVID, they pack it weirdly. I just freaking open up this bag. It looks kind of trashy, but whatever. Um, that is some beet ketchup. That is some like chipotle vegan sauce. And then I got a guac burger with uh, sweet potato and regular fries. And then I got this drink. It's like a ginger lemonade. Excuse my terrible nails. Like I have 15,000 other things to think about. So I haven't done them in forever. And then there's this new raspberry double chocolate chip cookie for um, a little, 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 little international women's month. So yeah, I'm gonna try this. Hopefully it's good. Hey guys, so I'm just sitting here. I just got done eating. I'm just, you know, thinking about life. And just like my feelings a little bit. Um, I'm just like, I don't know, you know, since I'm moving um, to Portugal, um, it's not like a lot of emotions going on right now, you know, and, um, I don't know, I just think life is so crazy, like, you, you have this thing in your head and you think, you know, this is what my life is going to be, and then you change your mind and you're passionate about other things, and like, your old self is just, like, dying and it's painful, you know, and, like, everything that you, you know, aspire to be, you don't care for anymore, and you kind of just feel lost a little bit. I get a little bit lost. I feel like I have to find myself all over again. Uh, I don't know. It's crazy. It's crazy. Like, I do love this thing, but, you know, <laughs> just kind of know when it's time to move on, so. Hey guys, it's your girl Viv. I look tired because, well, I am tired. I haven't gotten good sleep in like a whole week. Um, anyways, I am um, on my way to get my COVID-19 test so I can travel in two days. Um, I didn't get it the last time because the last time I vlogged, I was just having a really bad day and everything was going wrong for me. So I got there late so they couldn't do my test. So anyways, I'm kind of rushing. Hopefully I don't get late again. And yeah, um... After I get my COVID-19 test, all right, yellow card. Oh, I can't get in there. Show off. Anyways, well, if I had a nice card, show it off too. I don't even have a license. What am I talking about? Anyways, um, after I get my COVID-19 test, I'm gonna go ahead and go to the city. I'm gonna go to Best Buy and get a GoPro Hero 7 Black so I can start um, doing underwater videos for you guys for YouTube and my reels on Instagram. A lot of people are enjoying those, so doing what is my hair doing so yeah that's what i'm gonna be doing today So I stopped by my favorite vegan restaurant again and I got some tortilla chips with some pale artichoke dip and then I got some vegan chicken tenders with some buffalo and barbecue sauce and then I got my favorite rainbow sugar cookie and then some pineapple ginger juice. I'm also just like super upset because I got off the train and like walked a couple big blocks to go to Best Buy to pick up the camera I was talking to you guys about and turns out they're building that Best Buy so it's not even open but if you call or whatever it's like oh you can go pick up in store like an automated voice answers and it's like it says that it's like open and stuff on Google Maps but then it's actually closed so that's a bummer I'm gonna have to go wherever to get the camera a different location like in Midtown so I need to get back on the train and walk more and then I'm like oh really so anyways I just stopped to eat for like a break alrighty guys I'm at Best Buy and I just bought the GoPro Hero Black 7 I bought some like warranty on it so it came out to like 300 something total and I'm sitting here just you know watching these videos because I need watch time and views and I literally just put it on it's gonna play through a playlist and yeah so that's what I'm doing and I'm gonna go home like now
Because today's my last day in New York City. I just um, hung out with a friend, went and took some pictures, had a, a crepe. Now I'm super late. I'm gonna have to um, take an Uber to the airport, which I really did not want to do, but I'm gonna have to do that instead of taking the bus because it's more affordable. Now I'm gonna have to spend a little money on Uber, which I'm not looking forward to. Um, I still have to pack my stuff and I'm like super anxious because I'm late and um, just anxious in general. Um, so I don't really know how great this is gonna go. I'm push me back. All right, guys, I'm super mad, um, along with literally everyone else in this freaking airport. So on the website, to get into Europe, it said that you only needed a PCR test within 72 hours. And I got to the check-in and you need that and you need a rapid test done within four hours of your flight. So me, along with literally everyone else, has to rebook their flight and pay a $200 fee for a rapid test here at the airport. So I'm about to pay $200 and I don't know how much I'm gonna pay for having to cancel this flight and rebook another one. So I'm very upset, along with like literally everyone else in this airport, so yeah. Alrighty guys, so I really quickly filled out a ton of forms that I'm, I'm like so stressed out, I can't believe I got it done. And I went to get the rapid PCR, or the rapid COVID test. I just paid $200 and there's uh, a couple, an older couple who also um, are on the same flight as me. Uh, boarding time already closed. Everyone's, it, the flight's supposed to be leaving, but they're, you know, considering our situation. So they're letting the flight um, get like a little bit late, which is really nice. We're just gonna have to run through security, which is gonna be, uh, super um shitty and everyone on the flight is gonna be like wow they made us all late so that's gonna suck so i'm just waiting for my test right now and then when i get that i'm just gonna run up and hopefully everything goes smoothly and i'm super super anxious right now i'm running to my flight because i'm not gonna sit push me okay. Alrighty guys so i made it on my flight luckily and there's still one more lady running around um so i made it and i'm super excited because earlier i wasn't able to um, request a vegan meal and the stewardess were very very sweet and looked through all of their little um, snacks and we figured that these are all um, vegan we found out they're all vegan so that's super exciting because i'll have something to eat i'm pretty hungry and um yeah i have a seven and a half hour flight ahead of me um i'm sitting in the back like the very very back and there's no window seats but i asked them if i'm able to change later and they said i could so i'm gonna go window seat over there so I can get some good Instagram reel footage for you guys and some YouTube footage for you guys so I'm super excited about that and yeah hopefully this like goes well. Alrighty guys so thank you guys so much for tuning in this is going to be the end of my New York City um, vlog so thank you guys for watching don't forget to like this video if you liked it don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys in my next video.